Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? My name is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. First off, I really hope the sound quality is a lot better because I'm using a, a separate mic this time. So it should, it should most certainly improve the sound quality and it will also improve the quality of what you call it, what I'm listening to as well as what is being recorded. So I hope none of those issues happens again. And for today, I'm going to be reacting to Norm Macdonald and i've been doing this for the past four weeks and i just can't get enough of this man he was just brilliant brilliant comedian and i can't believe i've just been introduced to him no more than two months ago no more than two months ago yeah so today i'm gonna be reacting to norm mcdonald on conan o'brien's show called married to a battle axe so without any list let's get to it here we go I've been on a lot of shows, but there's no better crowd than you just right here. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> You're a pro. <laughs> You're a pro. You came out here, you lit this crowd up. I'm you... just telling the truth. You're a truth teller. You got your, uh, you got your book there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me yeah. read some of it. You don't have to do, <laughs> you don't, you don't have to do that. <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Yeah, what's up, pal? This is not a memoir. It says my memoir on it. Oh, yeah, well, I, th I thought this was a memoir. I no. thought this was... No, it only says a memoir on it, but yeah. it's a novel. I don't know, so <laughs> I'm, you know, I, I was angry when it was in the fiction, non-fiction. Yeah. Because it's think... a, a memoir. It says a memoir. It doesn't mean anything. Right. It's like if you, you know, bought Grapes of Wrath, you're like, hey, there's no grapes. Yeah. <laughs> or you put it in the grape section. That's yeah. smart. Yeah. <laughs> then everybody will find Grapes of Wrath. Yeah. People that like grapes. Okay, listen. <laughs> Norm, settle well, down. This have is, I made my point? You made your point. Uh, <laughs> I, I, if this was a memoir, if this were a memoir, yeah. I would put juicy things from my own life. Right, right. Like, well, like what kind of things would you put in there that nobody knows? Yeah. Well, I guess the biggest thing that nobody knows about me is I'm a deeply closeted gay man. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, mean, that's, I mean, that's... You're a gay man? I'm not gay. <laughs> I said I'm deeply closeted. <laughs> well, well, I'm wait. as straight as an arrow. <laughs> so you're a gay man who won't admit it. No, no. Do you know what deeply closeted means? Yeah. It means a man who will not acknowledge that he's gay. Yes. yes. So I'm telling you, I'm not gay. <laughs> I got a wife. I just you got a wife. I just got married because I thought to uh, go through that charade to uh, keep appearances up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the so, kind of thing you'd tell if yeah. this were a memoir. Yeah, if, if this, this were a memoir. memoir. Right. If this were a memoir, if. I would tell about my wife. What a battle axe. <laughs> <laughs> A battle axe? I mean, I, no I, one's called their wife a battle axe since 1945. Listen, come. How do you feel about a woman? She's supposed to be my life partner. I look in the mirror the other day and I says to her, I says, honey, I look in the mirror and all I see is a fat, ugly old man. And I need you to give me a compliment. She says, all right then. Uh, your eyesight is damn near perfect. I said, you dirty dog. <laughs> A dirty dog? A dirty dog. <laughs> a dirty dog. We have fights constantly. Oh, you, you know? do, do you? Oh, and sometimes it bleeds over. Like we were driving that car. We went past a bunch of animals. There was a pig, a cow. And I, I, I admit this is a little cruel. You were kind of mad at her at the time. I was mad at her. So I say, hey, you see that pig, that cow, you know, horse? That remind you of any of your relatives? <laughs> she says, yeah, my in-laws. I said, you dirty dog. <laughs> Wow. Pretty dog again. Wow. I tell you, until I met my wife, I always felt incomplete. Now I'm finished. <laughs> what a pretty dog. What a pretty dog. What is going on? I will say this. What is this going, is this going on? I will say this. This is a 1935 <laughs> radio show. Any young men, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. What's that to say then, Norm? Let me, let me see. Norm, what's that to say? Brilliant. Tell us more, Norm. <laughs> We're going to take a break for Chester Seal Figurettes. <laughs> well, let me say something more, more modern and stylish then. Okay. My uh, wife went into a coma. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And uh, the doctor said uh, to me, you won't hear this from any 1935 comic. He says to me, 
There's one way to wake her up, but it's a little unconventional. You go in there and you have oral sex with her. I said, by God. He says, I've seen it work. I said, well, I'm willing to try. So I go in there, I'm in there about five minutes, and I come out. I said, Doc, she's choking. <laughs> But that's modern medicine that's for you. That's modern medicine. We're going to take a break. I'm going to find out what's happening here. That's modern. <laughs> We're going to take a little break here. Here's a message from the good people at uh, Bosco Chocolate Syrup. <laughs> Be back more Norm McDonald after this. <laughs> My eyes are still watering. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Oh, that's got to be one of the funniest things I've ever heard. Oh my god. That was so good. So good. Like, he... Just, oh my god, it was so brilliant. Oh my... The more I listen to this man, the more I fall in love with him. And I just fucking hate the fact he's not with us anymore. I fucking hate it. But this was so good. Oh my god, like, I haven't laughed like this in such a long time, I, I lost it, man, this was so good, such a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant bit, oh, I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did, because I really, really fucking loved it, and it was, oh, so good, so good, just go like, subscribe, share, and I will do more Norm, I really hope there's some gold waiting for me out there. So until then, I'll see you guys later.